Sheriff Perry, how did you feel like it went tonight? Well, you know, it, it was a very good debate. Um, good turnout. Everyone, the media outlets, good questions. And so we just hope that the community now can make an informed decision. They saw all three candidates back to back to back and repeated questions. And um, I feel good about the debate. Now, you won't be coming to us. Can you give us a reason we can tell the public that you won't be? Well, as we're getting down to the close end of this, I mean, we've had a debate tonight, and we talked over issues for an hour and a half. We do have to make advantage of our time. Uh, I have some things that I have planned out, and as we're closing down to this bottleneck, and I just, in the campaign, we're each trying to win a campaign, and I have some other places I'm putting my efforts. One of the things that's come up is, and it came up last campaign, I brought it up about nonprofits and they not being able to get in politics. And this proof, this campaign that you've been in churches and even this event being sponsored by BTW is a political event. And it, the IRS code states no political activity. And you've been also seen at churches where there's been political activity. Well, was allowed to hold a fundraiser at a location. Uh, BTW is its own business. I mean, it's with that. And um, but you have engaged in political activity with them, right? Well, BTW's a business. They're a media outlet. They do shows. They do advertising. But they, but their list, they get, they get the nonprofit status 501c3, where you, they say no political activity. And don't you think that being a sheriff, that obeying the laws matters? Well, when I'm reporting media, I report it to y'all. The Bulletin, BTW, B99, and there used to be a fifth outlet. To me, it's media outlet, and there, uh, it is a business. Right, but if the IRS says no political activity, shouldn't sheriffs obey the laws of the land? And I'll go back once again. BTW is in a media business. I've gone down and uh, they do shows. They All of the sheriffs participate in educational shows for the community and everything else. And to me, I view them as a media outlet just like any other avenue here. Did you know that they get the nonprofit status? And that is not something that... I mean, I would have knowledge of. If you, if you were made aware of it, would you? Well, that would, I would think whoever handles that and enforces that, uh, that is something, I mean, I'm assuming that is an IRS question or something like that. But uh, for a number of years, all of our media outlets have mostly been established. I've had good working relationships with them, and, and that's, I just have to view them and everyone as a media outlet and a way to inform the public and get our information out so they can live the best quality of life they can. All right. But I guess my question to you is if you were made aware that the IRS says no political activity, and, and it, it would not be against the, the laws of the land? Well, I'm not familiar with that and I would have to go look at IRS laws and then I would assume that that is an IRS agent's issue to come in and I view that and I think I would probably be correct but that is more of a civil issue than a criminal issue and but they but people have at media outlets here All right. but, if, 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 but shouldn't the sheriff obey the laws of the land? I go back in. I'm doing business with media outlets, informing the public as I have for years. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's come up um, that, that, that this nonprofit status of churches and TV stations and so forth has come up an issue, and the IRS clearly states. How did that come up? I'm bringing it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just asked the sheriff, was he aware that the IRS states that nonprofit agencies should not be involved in political activity? Did you know about that rule? I think you brought that up last election. Yeah. 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 He, didn't, he didn't act on it. I mean, don't you feel that the sheriff, if the IRS codes are that clear, no political activity? Why you talk to the, uh, the IRS then? We've been trying for, for years. We can't get anybody to talk to is there a reason behind that? Well, I'm asking tonight. I thought, you know, the sheriff candidates would be the best people to talk to about this. How to? I, I would think talking to a, a federal agency would be what you need to do. But, but, but shouldn't, shouldn't sheriff candidates and sheriff folks obey the law on that? Yeah, of course, sheriff candidates. Uh, especially, the sheriff. The sheriff. especially the sheriff, right? Yeah. I mean, 
If it says no political activity, that means you shouldn't do it, right? And that's, that's, that's under a federal statute. Lord knows how many, uh, you know, what that entails. So the Internal Revenue Service would be more at hand to deal with that. Right. But, you know, I mean, we. this is a county office. This is a, a, a small county office. I got and you want us to get involved into federal matters? Well, you, we do with drug things and things, things of that nature. But, but first of all, I think shouldn't the sheriff obey the law? That's my big question. Well, he, uh, <laughs> I think he is obeying the law. But I mean, you're trying to point us into a, a certain direction because, I, you know, I know why it, you're doing it. You know, and, you know, I know it has something to do with uh, your business and a, and, a, and a competing business. Right. We have to pay taxes. So, like I said. Nonprofit the, agencies don't have to pay taxes. That's what they're there for. Right. But and, be- and if you're not getting what, what they want to do, then it seems to me you need to contact somebody over them, not your local sheriff. But if you got to be sheriff, would you obey the law and... And not I'm going to politic. obey the law, defend the Constitution, and and everything else. But I don't think you know. You brought this question up to me last election, yep. and I and I and I get the feeling that it's it's it has something to do with your business and another person. Yeah, we don't business. think it's fair. Well, if you don't think it's fair, then you need to bring it up to. You know, like the federal agencies, right, not, do, not the local sheriff. What well, we do think, lo- local sheriffs ought to at least obey the law. That's what, that's what I'm asking you. Don't you think if the IRS says no political policy, shouldn't the sheriff obey that? Well, the sheriff's office, we do obey political Not stuff. right now. No, you're talking about, you, you're thinking, I don't know what this other business is doing. I have no clue. I'm not a, a, an IRS agent. I've worked cases where you had to get into the books and guess what I did? I called the Internal Revenue Service and let them handle it. Because Maybe I, you can get us a number. Maybe you, you think I got the number on me? It's out of Roanoke. Okay. Right. It's in the POP building, the Internal Revenue Service. All right. Let me get the other candidates a bit. Nonprofit, now, churches and okay. and TV stations that have that status. One thing that's distinctive about it is no political activity. Do you know about the law about that? The 501c. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's 501c3 or something. Something to that effect. Right. Yeah. The I, IRS rules. Yes. I know a little bit about tax right. exemption. Right. Yes. Sir. All right. So I, I'm uh, Jerry Farmer seemed confused about it. He says we just need to call the IRS, but. But should the sheriff, if he, I mean, he's been told four years ago that this is a, this is the IRS against the IRS code. Shouldn't the sheriff obey the land, you know, the laws of the land? I mean, I, I, I agree. He should obey the laws just like anyone else. And the only reason why he didn't get in trouble with the April 20th on the Hatch Act is because all three of us are running nonpartisan. Mm-hmm. Other than that, if one of us would have ran as a Republican or a Democrat. He would have been in violation, probably been removed from the office right then, and that's one of the. And they don't even warn on it. Right. And and he violated that, not just one factor, but all four factors on it. And right. he continues to do so. Uh, as far as now, why you got to ask yourself, and and, and he he made the comment uh, back at the Oak Level Royalty. He said he's never run a dirty campaign, and he's this is his fourth election. I, I can understand that, but he's never ran against two men now that's, that has the qualifications, more qualifications than he has, so he's worried. He's threatened about the experience and, and what we bring to the table, right. and I've got a strong platform. So should he answer and, and follow the same rules that we all have to follow through? Right. That's what the Hatch Act is for. All right, now i got to put a, kind of everybody on the spot here. This event was sponsored by BTW. Yeah. And it, the law says no political activity. Now, I, I don't know if you hadn't focused on it, but, I mean, isn't this, isn't this a violation? Yeah. Well, I know part of – it's my understanding churches or church organizations that gets the tax exemption is not allowed to have – for anybody that has the 501c3 status. Yeah, and I, I don't know who has them and who don't. That, I know much, most churches has the 501 501- – 50- I can show you evidence that they, they – 
they claim that don't have to pay taxes. Okay. Well, if, if that's the case, then they're in violation because they're not now, supposed to. Do you to. have some ads get ready to run on it? Well, the way it works, and it's my understanding, I may stand, stand, uh, stand corrected on this. To, to, be, to be in violation of that code, you have to oppose or promote one candidate or another. So if they're advertising, I, I, and, and they're advertising for all of us, they're not actually advertising for just one. They're advertising for all of us. No political activity. Well, I, and again, that's the one. That's the one. No, mean no. Yeah. Well, Make that any, anything? Yeah. Well, that's one one area that I'm not sure. That's going to be an IRS call. Right. But like for for churches, if you're holding a church function for one candidate or speaking for one candidate, yeah, yeah you're in clear violation. You can lose your tax exemption. Whoever did that, you just cost yourself and the church uh, that that tax exemption. What, right what does no mean? Means absolutely do nothing, it. right? Don't do it. Yeah, but. As far as advertisement for one or all three of us? Which sound like to me that law would say well, it's, nobody. It, it, said, it says, in other words, this place should not be used for political activity. Today it's political activity. Yeah, you're, you're right. I, again, that's, that's going to be an expert call on that. That's going to be the IRS. Can you find out for us? No, I mean, I, should we count on the sheriff to be able to make sure we understand the laws? Well, I, what I always did when I was in office, yeah. if I was unsure about a law, or if I got enough evidence you on it. You might be in violation. <laughs> you, you, call, you call the, uh, well, it wouldn't be me. It would be that organization, be BTW. Okay. It would be a church. Mm -hmm. You know, if, you're, if they're opposing or promoting a certain candidate, then they're in violation, not but me. It, but in a legal argument, if I was smoking pot in a, in a house and, 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 and I'm like, I didn't sell it, but I'm still smoking the pot, you know, like, like that, wouldn't I be in violation? You would be. Yeah, you would be. But this is a little bit different on that. Now, the, the, the issue with this is they're giving a service to me that I'm paying for. They're giving him a service but and this gentleman a service. it's wrong. Well, that's for and, them. That's they, oh, their, in law, but, but still, if you're the sheriff and you know the intent of the law is to obey the law, then shouldn't you know that better? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, if, again, I, I, hadn't, I have not looked. If you're talking about BTW, I hadn't looked to see if their tax exemption or, or any other agency being tax exempt. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's going to be my responsibility to find out if, if you're tax exempt or not, if you're providing a service to me. Now you know. Huh? Now you know. You said, you said they are, are, they, they oh, are yes, tax exempt? Yes, sir. Exempt. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, then I would say and they've been they breaking this law for years, and the sheriff won't do anything about it. You ever I, put I, a complaint in? Oh, well, I talked to the sheriff on TV last time, and he said it wasn't a problem. Yeah, but what about to the IRS? The, the oh, yeah, sheriff, I've done that too. The sheriff, I've done that too. Well, what did the IRS say? Absolutely, hadn't got back with us yet. Ah, well, you might need to follow up on them. If the, it's going to be their rule, it's going to be their rules. The to, 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 well, the, let me explain to you the rules on, on stuff. There's administrative rules, and then there's criminal. Right. We as sheriffs, we handle the criminal, the criminal aspect of it. This wouldn't be a criminal aspect. This would be administrative. It's like the Hatch Act. He violated the Hatch Act. The only thing that saved him was we're all running as independents. Right. So it's an administrative issue which we can't enforce. But we, we can both agree. No means no. We can, we can both agree no means no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. All right.